One, two, three. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Simonas Mitskavichus, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm sales team lead at uh, Baltic Car Recruitment Company, or BCE. Uh, first of all, big thanks to Gortam team for this event. I wonder how the 20th Telematics conference will look like. We will see maybe on Mars. Um, I see some new faces here, so I would like to introduce our company. So we are based in Lithuania and uh, we have more than 13 years of experience in fleet management, uh, uh, IoT and telematics fields. Um, over this time, we have gained partners in more than 80 countries and uh, we have grown to about uh, 100 employees. Um, yeah. um, also, I would like to express my happiness that we are growing uh, about 20% every year in sales and for, for this year we have a plan uh, for 125,000 units. Uh, so far it's going really great <laughs> uh, and I think we will reach it. Uh, also we have uh, more than 65,000 units on Violon which also says, says a lot. So in order for us to to step forward to solving complex solutions we have to update our complex projects, we have to update our solutions. Uh, so we have updated uh, our online configuration to FMSet. Well, not updated, we have uh, launched a new one. Um, we, of course, changed the design. Uh, we added new features. Uh, one of the main features is the SDK programming tool, which is there. Uh, also, we have moved the uh, previous features like uh, Canvas database, um, mass updates, and, and et cetera. Um, so for, for already some time we receive more and more inquiries from, from partners to make new integrations, new integrations with sensors, new integrations with, uh, with other equipment and etc. And um, before that uh, we couldn't do all, all of it. I mean all the new integrations require lots of resources from, from the company and from device itself. Um, and before that, all the new updates were made in, in the firmware level, so uh, any small mistakes can, can harm the device's reliability and working. So that's how we moved uh, to, to the new line of devices with the SDK. So we, um, we changed the hardware a bit. We used different processor also. We uh, moved some of the parts from the firmware to, to uh, to a different, a different place, let's call it that. And all these things like uh, Canvas or additional sensors can be now controlled via the SDK or integrated. Uh, also, there is a possibility to control the main features as well uh, from the SDK. Um, regarding the scripts, there are three, um, you can, our partners can get the scripts or the solutions in three, three different ways. Uh, first way is a uh, public library, so we gather all the all the scripts that we have done into one place, so all the partners can just take they can use them. Uh, also, our partners can write the scripts by themselves uh, as well if they have the knowledge and have the manpower. Uh, also, we are doing the scripts uh, as well for our cli clients' integrations um, based on their requirements. Also, there is a Two script levels. Well, first level is um, for more basic um, projects, integrations, and etc. For example, if you want to control uh, or adjust one wire, uh, it will be in level one, and basic devices can be used. At level two, we are talking about extending cameras, cameras, and other IoT solutions. So it's more advanced. So again, uh, advanced devices can be used then. Um, about the SDK, I would like to point three points. Uh, three things. Uh, it is based on a C uh, language, which is well known to most of you. Um, we also have implemented the error check um, in the SDK uh, window tab, uh, so the developers can check any logical mistakes and etc. and then solve them before testing it on the unit and save a lot of time. And again, uh, all the scripts are remotely updated to the devices, so our partners can imagine it's similar as updating um, the device logic itself. Um, since we launched a new hardware line, we had to choose a new protocol. 
uh, we have chosen MQTT. Um, why have chosen it? So it's ISO standard uh, and secured protocol. Uh, also, there are lots of libraries online uh, for any questions. Uh, also, it uh, enables us to use a partial to JSON format, uh, which is sometimes common in, in some governmental projects. Um, as well, speed off of development. Uh, before that, every new parameter that we created or added to our protocol, Gurtam had to update also. So that means two companies are involved in that uh, in this project. With the new MQTT protocol, we are defining the parameters by ourselves. And um, Gurtam doesn't need to do any additional uh, implementations and updates uh, on, the, on the integration of our device. We, this can save a lot of time uh, in doing that and we can start testing much, much faster. Um, I would like to talk about a couple of uh, well business cases, projects, and and so on. So first would be people counting sensor. So our partner um, gave us the inquiry that they need to count how many people are entering and how many people are leaving the bus at every stop. Um, so it wasn't enough just to, of course, integrate the hardware. We also had to create geo zones on every bus stop so the device would trigger the camera. Then. Um, it was kind of complex solution because of the camera itself. So we used the uh, XT CAN device, camera connected via RS-485. Uh, the interesting part with this camera, with this project, that it's in it can be used not only uh, in transport, public transport, for example, it can be used in retail shops. Uh, owners can count how many people are entering and not buying, it's an issue. So maybe they can change it to the pricing, maybe they change the shelves and etc. So because people are just coming and they're leaving empty-handed. Um, another would be ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance uh, Assistance System. Sorry. Um, in many countries, drivers are pushed to their limits um, every day because more kilometers they drive, the more they, they earn. So they get tired, they get distracted, and this is causing a lot of accidents and of course damaging the equipment. Uh, also. Drivers are picking up um, passengers that's inside the road, and this can be resulted in the theft of the whole truck or cargo or, or any, any other equipment which is inside the truck. Um, so we have implemented a couple of ADAS systems. Uh, usually they use RS-232, RS-485 or Canvas. The differences in, 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 in the ADAS systems, they can be, of course, it's in, it's in the price of the equipment, it's not, um, not that cheap compared to, to some of the devices. Also, there is a number of parameters and, of course, accuracy and, and sensitivity. So the uh, ADAS system must um, inform the driver when the lane is changing or if there are pedestrians or the road. Also, he has to send uh, all these parameters and messages to, to the device, which is then sent to the violin and in certain reports, then you, then you can see what is happening. Um, this is interesting one. It's uh, probably one of the hardest so far, and we are working on it step by step. So, Opal, it's Opal has uh, more than 400 companies as their members in Oman, and those companies control more than 100,000 trucks, machineries, vehicles, and etc. So there were lots of um, lots of requirements, lots of tasks that we had to do. A couple of them, it's. 4,000 geozones. It's not usual geozones as we used to know. I mean, those geozones are roads. Every just geozone, every road has its own uh, speed limit. One of the things that we had to do, the, it had to be reaction time between geozones and speed limits had to be less than one second. Uh, and everything that is done on the, hard, on the hardware side. Um, also, second by second data had to be stored in the device up to 72 hours. Um, so our engineers, our team um, made the changes. We used a larger flash. Uh, we created special algorithms. Um, and after, th after testing, after all the calculations, we have managed um, with the larger flash, for example, store the data up to 96 hours. And one of the best things that our team has done, we 
reduce the time in, in uh, reaction time between the geozones at field limits uh, to 35 milliseconds. Um, so they, they did really great job. Also, we expanded um, uh, supported uh, points of geozones to 65,000 and, and uh, it's now supports 10,000 driver IDs. Um, when you add all these things up into, in, into the device this and how many, how much resources this project takes from the device itself, uh, it's almost as we are using a, I don't know, Apple laptop that much power it has. Um, this project is ongoing and it's uh, our device is being tested. One of the issues and questions is that every time we have uh, new requirements that we have to update, so it's, um, how to say, the device, the device is working, the solution is working, but there is no, 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 no full list of requirements. So it takes, takes a lot of time. So, so far the device is being tested and we're waiting for the results and hopefully, hopefully we will not receive any new requirements for the engineers. Um, since I mentioned the uh, public script library that we, that we have, these are a couple of companies that we have integrated and we are sharing the SDK scripts with our partners. Um, also, we are continuously we are going to integrate not only those sensors or solutions which our partners has, but also from our perspective, which we think um, is the key, is the future. And we are going to share with the partners all these scripts. Um, as SDK script, it de the possibility depends on the on all the requirements. Uh, and uh, for example, we all know what is Canvas. We, uh, but we also know that it has more parameters that we are than we are using. Also, it's not only for monitoring; it's also for control. For example, we can lock unlock uh, the doors, door cars, doors of the car uh, via Canvas. Uh, this can be used in car sharing, for example. Um, Modbus protocol as well. Uh, lots of um, electric scooters use Modbus protocol and uh, industrial machines as well. So device itself can be used not only in tracking cars, motorcycles, but can be used in, in, uh, in industrial manufacturers and etc. Also, uh, Isobus protocol for agriculture and I will not spell it, AM protocol for road maintenance for snow plows and, and etc. Which is also interesting. Um, the last thing that I would like to uh, tell that probably most of you have heard that BC uh, got acquired by USA-based company Zergo. They are also a solutions provider, hardware manufacturer, but they manufacture different hardware than we do. For example, every hardware that they make is specifically created for one client. For example, in their portfolio, they have uh, these kind of clients like Ford, Myers, FedEx. Um, so this kind of merge and uh, know-how from them and, and uh, more devices, more, more solutions uh, will bring more opportunities for us and for our partners. Um, thank you all for the time. Any, any questions? If you do have any questions, we are available for them. Everything is clear. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Simonas. Thank you.